So another cool thing you can do with this plugin, and I'm barely just scratching the surface on this. I mean, there's so many things you can do with this, but if you like working with loops, this comes with over two gigs of um, sounds. And if you just want to go ahead and just, just you know, start bringing in loops, you can do that. Let's get a uh, some urban drums right there. Bring this in. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back and I'll bring in uh, some strings. Yeah, that's good. Okay, then I'm gonna go back, go some bass lines. Okay, bring that in too. All right, now if I push play on each one of these. Yeah. And then you can just build stuff up. I mean, it's just, just really, really cool. Uh, another cool thing, too. Okay, if I go ahead and solo this one here. Okay. Now, if I... You won't be able to see this drop-down box, but um, when you left-click and you load some effects on there, I'm going to go to the gator. Okay. And what that's going to do is chops it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I take everything back in. If I bring everything back in. Now I'll put a gator on this one too. Yeah. A ton of stuff you can do with this stuff. And, you know, you can bring your own drum loops in. Uh, you know, just... Uh, there's no limit to what you can do with this. Okay, let's say uh, you know you want to, you, you like one, you like some of the kicks and snares that you heard on that drum pattern. No problem. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna load up an empty drum module. Okay, if you see here, you got default slicer, default phrase, default drums, and default audio. I'm just gonna left click and hold that default drums. Okay, bring it in, and. I basically got MPC style pads right here and I'm going to trigger these sounds with my keyboard. And so let me go back to the drum pattern that we loaded in. All right, let me just solo that out. Okay. Now if I go to slicer, okay, I'm playing that and I just left click on slicer, it sliced it up for me. So if I start on C1, okay, it plays that sequence. and because we just want the individual hits, I'm going to go ahead and left click on that. And then down here where it says trigger loop, if you left click, you'll get two more options. Instead of triggering loop, it'll say transpose loop and play slices. And I'm just going to select play slices. Okay, and then I'm going to turn this one off. And then I'm going to go to slicer. There you go. Got yourself a little drum kit. And you can do that with any any file that you bring in. You just bring it in as a slice module, chop it on up and assign it to the assign it to the pads. Okay, so I'm gonna take this kick, make sure my hand is selected. Okay, and I'm gonna left click and drag it up to the slicer. Okay, and you'll see my um you see the pads load on up. Bring it to the slicer, you see it there. I'm just gonna bring it on down. Boom. Now I'm gonna go back and get a hi hat. And if I right click on the sample, I can preview the sound. So get that one, left click, bring it on up, drag it down to the drum module. Okay, and put that on the second pad. And then all we want now is just a hi hat. I'm gonna go back there. There we go. Left click, same thing. Bring it on down, drums, boom. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and solo this. There we go. And if you need some more volume on that, all you got to do is uh, just go up to your amp button here. Boom. Or you can also just bring up the level right down here. And another cool thing is you could layer these sounds. You know, you go to sample B and then bring in another sound. Let's go ahead and do that. Left click. Let me bring in... Uh, a hi-hat to go with that. Okay, I'll left click and drag that, bring it on back down to the drum module, put that on the same pad as we loaded up with the kick. Okay, now I'm gonna play that kick. Okay, and if you can't really hear it, just go to amp, bring up the volume level.
You know what I mean? So we have um, your hi-hat loaded up there too. So that's just, you know, really, really cool stuff you can do. You can load in any sample and just chop up the file, assign them to the pads, and then just play a sequence. And because it's assigned to a MIDI channel, you can take those sounds and then just go ahead and do your thing. And you know, record that and just keep adding things and, and you know just having fun with it. So like I said, I've barely scratched the surface. Uh, you know, keep hitting up the website, eternalpurposestudios.com, and in the future I'm going to do an entire tutorial on transfuser in detail. So God bless. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. God bless.